I had to figure out how to put soup in an air sealing bag without it being sucked up into the machine, destroying the vents or the, the vacuum that's in it, or and making a mess and not being able to accomplish it. The first thing you learn is to freeze your soup first in bowls. You, you freeze them in these bowls and it's frozen solid and then you just get a little hot water around it, say in a sink, then pop it into a bag, the frozen device, the frozen soup that's in the shape of it, and then do it the next day and suck the air out around it. That's one way. The other way is amazing. You can actually do it from the, the actual soup that's still wet. And I'm gonna show you right now a little trick that we figured out and created that you could also. So you basically, you, you have the soup and you put it in the bag, small ladle. So you got, a, you got one bag of soup here and you can get multiple bags of soup going on. You can simply just put a bags in, in a small little container and have them all, you know, um, you know, just soup, it fills the container like any liquid does and just turn the top over and use a clothespin or some other, you know, um, clamping thing and away you go. You could use tape if you really didn't have that. And now just place this in your freezer overnight and then you can continue the job tomorrow by air sealing the rest of the air out and voila, you don't even need containers in between the process of freezing. And a trick once they're starting to freeze. As you'll see, they're starting to get hard, but you can push them over so it flattens them. It makes them more flat as they're as they're going. I just use a couple of uh, uh, used egg containers, egg carton containers, and you can just you know move them over more and more and flatten them out. And as they go, so it will be like um you know easier to store afterwards um when you lay them down on top of each other super impressed we've got the the blocks which were pressed by the eggshells to be a little bit more compressed and they're doing fantastic soup is frozen so let's do the perforated edge down here uh the simple last step and basically you got to make sure that it goes in the little trough and you make sure that it's there and boom and you close it. Now, here we go. I like to, some, some of these uh, back sealers have like dry, moist, pulse. Uh, I just put it on moist because it is a moist still and back it. And as you see, it is taking the rest of the air out. Come on, that is amazing. Really done. This is gonna be like good for two to three years. Then it goes to seal mode. And you can count with me. Drum roll, please. Here we go. And 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 they say 20 seconds before um, putting another one in, by the way. I didn't mention that in other videos, and I think I should, because you got to let it cool down and whatnot. But it's sealing. Pulse, pulse, pulse. The ceiling, and it is done. And now, release. See the magic. Check it out. Soup is sealed. Amazing. Amazing, and you could let it defrost again, and then it would fill the rest of the package, and um, you could store it better, but I, I don't mind this. So, continuing on, we will do another. The other hack I gotta show you is once these are frozen in the uh, little containers, you need to get them out. So it's best to just put them in some warm water for a second, where then they will be able to then pop out. It's that simple. And I'm gonna give these other sealing type bags more of a vac seal for um, uh, getting air out of things. And if you have a device on your air seal, you can do this. So I'm gonna give that a shot in this video and crack one of these guys into it. It just kind of loosens it sort of thing. And it's just gotta sit there and thaw just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, you know, I'm thinking like maximum five minutes. These guys are frozen rocks. And it actually, went even easier, boom bada bing. Um, always wash your hands and all the rest of the fun stuff. I did do that just to let you know. Um, and because handling food is important to keep the botulism away. And you knock that in there, bring this guy in here like that, voila, and seal it up. A different kind of seal on these bags. You can buy all types of bags. So we're gonna give these a go and see how well this goes, but I better bag all these before they defrost too much. Okay, so it appears that this uh, little gadget, the air suction 
add on with these little things. It works really well, but you got to give it a little bit of elbow grease. So you put it on here. You got to lock your machine first. That's usually put it in operate. Make sure that it's set to vacuum. Oops, I better show you this. There's a movie move. Here we go. Make sure it's set to vacuum. It can be dry or moist. And just really put it on there and then press. And then it puts your little bit of elbow grease on this. It appears that you got to create the seal. And you just got to really give it a little pressing on it. Put your body weight on it, I recommend. Move it around a bit sometimes. And it starts to find the seal and suck things in. As you can see, it's going. Sometimes you just gotta like move your hand just a bit, just clockwise while you're applying pressure. And it's, for some reason, like, it's almost like they should have created a suction cup, but it somewhat works. You just gotta like put your body weight on it and it'll stop when it's time. And I kind of like turn, turn, just clockwise motion and it'll shut off when it's done. So that's it in a nutshell. And you get your total air seal. But again, you gotta press and just kind of like turn just a little bit, even less than that. And it'll find the um, little, it'll line up with this and that. It's like, if you just put your body weight on it, you'll be happy you did, it'll be sealed. Oh, and tip with this thing, make sure to unlock your machine and relock it so it resets. Sometimes the vac won't work properly. But again, it seems to be all about the pressure on these things. This is a good Costco machine. So here we go again. And that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about sealing liquid, soups, whatever, let me know. I hope those that other tip um, really helps you. And uh, give it a go because it's good to preserve food for the longevity of it.